Hi, this is David at MASH IT, and tonight we're going to be upgrading the SSD in our base model Surface Pro 7 Plus. Because as we discussed in our recent review, the new Surface Pro 7 Plus makes it easy to pop the back cover off and replace the SSD. So because this is now possible, we bought the base model with 128 gig SSD, and I've now bought myself a 256 gigabyte Western Digital 30 millimeter SSD off eBay. That was 40 pounds in the UK, or you can spend hundreds of pounds on Microsoft upgrading to the 256 version. So tonight we're going to show you how to take the SSD out and insert the new one and also how to install a fresh operating system onto the new drive. Now before we get started, just want to quickly go over the tools that we need. You're going to want a 16 gigabyte thumb drive, some screwdrivers just to take out the old SSD, obviously your replacement 30 millimeter M.2 SSD. You're going to need something like a phone SIM card remover to pop the back cover off the surface. I've also got a thermal pad here I'm going to cut to size for my SSD and just pop on top just to transfer the heat off the actual drive better. Now I've just bought myself a 256 gigabyte because I don't need a lot of space but you can get up to about a terabyte in this 30 millimeter SSD but obviously as, as you go up in capacity the prices do inflate quite heavily. Okay let's make a start. Right, so before we actually install the new SSD, the first thing we're going to need to do is create our USB recovery drive. Pop this into your Surface. In the description below, you're going to find a link to the Surface Pro 7 Plus recovery image page. Click that link, you're going to need your serial number from your Surface Pro 7 Plus, and then follow the prompts to download a zip file which contains all of the actual image that you're going to need. If you need to find your serial number, it's on the back of the Surface Pro 7 behind your kickstand, or if you hit the start button and type in Surface, open the Surface app, and on your device, you're going to see your serial number. So once you've downloaded that zip file, hit the start button on your keyboard and type in recovery. And you're going to see a recovery drive option. Open that and say yes. Now, here we're going to create a recovery drive. First things first, you're going to follow the prompts, but most importantly, uncheck backup system files to the recovery drive. I'm going to hit next. And then you're going to make sure you've got your, it will be D drive in our case, for our USB 3 thumb drive. And we're going to click next and actually make ourselves a bootable recovery thumb drive. Now, once that's completed and you've clicked finished, you're going to extract all the files from your downloaded zip file. You're going to copy those. And you're going to place them directly onto the thumb drive. And overwrite anything that's already there. And once that's finished, you make sure you eject the thumb drive properly. So bring up your safely remove hardware and eject, eject your thumb drive. We're going to pop it out for now, get it out of the way. And what we're going to do, we're going to shut down our machine. Wait, it's completely off. I'm going to now turn it over, pull my kickstand up so I've got full access to my SD card. Right, so now we're going to use our SIM tool. You can see, obviously, the cover for the actual SSD. Little hole in the corner. I'm going to put my SIM tool in, push it down, and you see the cover just pops up. Lift that off with your finger, and there you go. You can see your original SSD. In my case, 128 gigabytes. Now, in order to unscrew this little screw here for our SSD, you're going to need a T4 driver. Now. Just in case you haven't got those, I'm going to pop some links down below in the description of where you can get a decent set of your driver bits. The T4s, you'll find T4s and T5s very common uh, when you're working on laptops. It's a really handy screwdriver to have. So I'm just going to very carefully unscrew that. Make sure you do not strip the screw. So you put it in securely and unscrew that gently. There we go. Screws out. Now it's a bit fiddly to get to this SSD. So if you've got a pry tool, use that. If not, you probably get your fingernail in there. Don't jam a screwdriver in there if you can help it. Now again, with part of the kit I'm going to link down below, there will be a pry tool in that kit. So there we go, Let, lift it up with a pry tool, very, very carefully. Once you've got it up at a very slight angle, I'm going to just wiggle it out. 
and there's our drive. Now you can see it's got a metal plate, so it doesn't look like a standard M.2 SSD because they've put a little plate all around it to use as a bit of a thermal transfer. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of uh, thermal tape on my actual drive just to transfer the heat off. Okay, so my new SSD, very carefully, at a very slight angle again, we're going to wiggle that in. And once we're in, we're going to secure it back in with the original screw. Now I've cut myself a piece of thermal tape because I had a, a quite a large section. The right size for this SSD, I'm going to pop this on just so that there's a bit of a transfer between the actual SSD drive and the little back plate. I've just used a one millimeter thick thermal pad, as you can see there. You just slide it into this little tab, slide the tab underneath, so the way that it popped out, push it down, and it just you hear it clip back on. There we go, that's installed. Right, we're gonna plug ourselves in, you need power in order to do this, and we're gonna put our thumb drive that we've just created back in there. Now, what we need to do, we're going to hold the volume down, and whilst we're holding the volume down down, we're going to press the power button, and this will allow us to boot from the USB stick. So there we are, holding it down, pressing the power button, and letting go. Right, so here we go, we're booting off the actual USB 3 stick, I'm going to choose my language, choose my keyboard, right, we want to recover from a drive. Yeah. Right, so here we go, so recover from a drive, I'm going to click recover, that's recovering this PC. Now this is obviously recovering from the actual USB to the actual SSD. So I'm just creating a very basic account just to get us in so we can take a look, make sure everything's working okay. Hi. And we're in. So, first thing I want to do is I'm going to open up and take a look. There we go. We can see that the 256 gigabyte SSD is shown correctly. 193 gigabyte free. Fantastic. And now I'm just going to have a look in Device Manager, make sure everything's working as it should be. And there we go. So, obviously, using that recovery drive has put all our correct surface drivers on. Touchscreen working okay. Surface apps installed, it's all good. So this is a great way of getting a Surface Pro 7 Plus and getting the base model i5 and having whatever size storage you wish with this machine at a fraction of the cost of Microsoft doing this for you. The only problem with doing it this way, you're stuck with eight gigabyte. Obviously, if you pay more for the later stages of i5 and i7, you will obviously move up to 16 gigabyte with the higher storage models that they sell. But in my use, 8 gigabytes has been fine because obviously I'm quite a light user on my Surface Pro. I do most of my main work on the desktop. This is more for just on the go for me. So 8 gigabyte would be fine for me, but the storage is something that I struggle with. 128 gigabyte is just not enough. Well, hopefully this has been useful. If you've got any questions, please drop them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you. Also, if there's anything else you want to see with the Surface Pro 7 Plus, please fire away down below and we will do our best to look at that for you as well. And also like and subscribe and hit that notification button to see further content that we've got coming. We've got plenty of laptops on the way and plenty more how-tos on the way too. Thank you for watching.